Okay, we're out here with our Titan TTF-12 semi-automatic shotgun. Now, I did a quick preliminary last time with this. Everything seemed to work well. It didn't really lay a lot of three-inch shells in it. And the release button here started to get stiff a little. But other than that, uh, that was about it. It functioned pretty good. This gun will not shoot like loads. Okay, like trap rounds, it won't work in this semi-auto. So what we're going to do today, basically, we're going to test some ammo out. It's more of an ammo testing. I got some Fioshi Home Defense, and this is a light double-lock buckshot load. I have some real double-lock buckshot, which is a little bit... Uh, got more pop to it, and we'll see how that functions. And we got some Rio number four buck. And we'll just fire this, see how it keeps working, and check out the pattern on it uh, today. All right. So we're out here with the Titan shotgun. Uh, again, we're going to be at the same distance, but what I decided to do. I want to cycle this ammo through the gun and just do a function test. See if I can get five rounds to fire. Uh, we have the Fioshi home defense, kind of a light load. We're going to bang five out, and I'm just going to fire into the hillside. Now, some people have had problems where this load, because it is lighter, will not function in their semi autos. I want to test that out. Then once I do the function for all of these, uh, I'll fire one round at a target and we'll look at how it patterns out of this gun because firing the five rounds, by the time you look at the target, uh, you can't tell what's there. So this is just at the hillside. We're going to see if, how it works. Yeah, hung up. Yeah, this stuff isn't cycling. It tries to, but it doesn't want to. Yeah, the last one kicked out. So yeah, the Fioshi home defense, that light load, doesn't work in the gun well. Uh, I don't know if that'll change after it, they say break in or firing larger, more powerful shells on it. Now this one, the Rio, the Rio should uh, work fine. It's a heavier load. And you can tell by the recoil. So this one should fire just fine. But all of these shells are not exactly, just looking at them, they're not exactly top quality. And I did have trouble with these in the pump. Yeah. You know, thought that was pretty weird. But, let's see if these will cycle through. Yes, they do. Now, I got our number four buck. We'll see if this the big difference in them shells and the power. So you know, even though they're two and three quarter, you can get some pretty powerful loads. You really ain't got to go 
into that three inch category. I mean, for close range, at this range, you know, 15, 20 feet, unless you're trying to stop a car or something in a roadblock, you know, you really don't need three inch mags for home defense. Alright, number four. Yep, that does it. Alright, I want to get a clean target. I'm going to go down and uh, going to show you how these pattern. And then maybe I'll try some slugs in this. Uh, some I had, the Remington ones worked fine, but I got some discount slugs. I don't know where they're made. And we may try those out. Well, I'm going to show you how it patterns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Rio buckshot in the chamber. We're going to fire that first. The Fioshi will be last, and then the number four will be second. That way it should cycle through, and, that, and then we'll show you the pattern. So, first up we're going to pattern the Rio. Okay. Rio number four. And then the Fioshi. All right, let's go see. And then what I'm going to fire is Troy slugs. I'm going to put five of them through there. The slugs, we'll just aim at another point on uh, the uh, targets. But that's what we'll do next. Okay, that's the full strength. Uh, Rio load, and that's how it kind of patterns. Different ammo will pattern differently in your gun. You have to find one that likes, and I believe this one liked the Winchester Green Military Load. Here's the number four buck, and this kind of gives you an idea of what one round produces. I mean, if I shoot all five in there, you got a piece of paper like Swiss cheese. But that gives you an idea of the patterning patterning more pellets but a lot of them center a mass okay as compared and you can see the hole size and of course the Fioshi load low powered there's a guy that did a thing trying he shot it through ballistic gel for inside your home those are good but the semi-autos don't like cycling them so for a pump shotgun that would probably be the best load if you lived in an apartment or something. And it does pattern halfway decent, a little bit lower than the other. That's probably anticipating recoil. All right, let's go and try them slugs next. Now we're gonna try these YTR Troy, YBR Troy. They say they're made in America. I've never heard of this ammo before or what, what it's used for or anything. Uh, but it's under a buck around, and it's hard to get defensive loads that are under dollar rounds, you know, depending on how many of them you buy. So, let's see how she goes.
shooting, these things are shooting a tad bit low, a few inches low at this distance, but they work. Uh, actually, looking at the hulls, they're a lot better than uh, the ocean net, quality-wise. I mean, that plastic's real thin on them other ones. But we we'll go down, see what we did, and then we're going to move on to our next gun. So the slugs, not too bad. Uh, they cut through there. See, that's the slug, that's the wad. But they went off, they functioned. I was aiming for a headshot and I shot low, as you see. So I'm gonna say that them, uh, them slugs are all right. I mean, they work well in a gun. I'd like to test some more of them, but they're, if you see that brand on sale, I'd buy them. They're constructed a little bit better than them Rios and uh, Fioshis. All right, I gotta wrap this up here and move on.